welcome back to my channel and if you're new what's up my name is VNA Strick thank you so much for being here so today I have a really exciting video I was going through all of my makeup and I thought I could probably find a couple dupes I thought I could find a couple dupes of little things here and there and I started out with my highlighters and then I realized I have so many dupes for like popular you know high-end highlighters and I have really affordable dupes now this is not specifically formula it's just like I found some that are like the exact shade so if you have been eyeing some highlighters because of the shade well I think I found a couple for you that you could get at the drugstore and yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you do like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad today's post notification shout out goes to Candy Jenkins whoa why is that weird Candy thank you so much for having your post notifications on I really appreciate you thank you for being such a loyal subscriber and I love you and if you want to be my next post notification shout out all you have to do is turn them on and comment when you are done let's get into the video so do we like the setup I know this is different I was doing an Instagram video and when I do those videos I kind of like just a white background and I was putting back all my stuff and I was like I'm gonna change it up a bit I have some beautiful flowers that my boyfriend got me and I was like I really want to put them there I still need the candle of course youtuber life we need a candle in the back so I was feeling the white. Do you guys like the white? I'm really excited to show you guys these highlighter dupes. I'm gonna be showing you guys like the brand, the shade. I'm also gonna link it all down below and I'll be showing you swatch comparisons so that way you guys can go pick up some good highlighter dupes. I think I'm gonna start out with the, with the most different but also the newest release of highlighters. I'm talking about these guys right here. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, Nikki Tutorials came out with a collab with Ofra, and they made these two highlighters right here. This is more of a pinky tone, and this is more of like a purple shifting blue kind of shade. And now I know these are obviously pretty, I mean, they're not super pricey. I do think Ofra keeps it lower than most high-end prices. But of course, if you wanna get a blue lavender or a pink highlight you might not want to pay for these by the way these are amazing i did use them in my last last video i was following a nicole guerrero tutorial and they work beautifully the formula is awesome but if you're really just looking for the shades of these and you don't want to spend this much money i have something that you're gonna want and this is just one product that will get you a bunch of highlighters and it is this guy right here this is the flower beauty galactic glow holographic palette now this palette is actually really good. It's very blinding and it is at the drugstore. It is the Drew Barrymore line and I've talked, I reviewed this a couple months ago, I believe, and I do like it, but I found literally the exact two same shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both on my arms and then I'm gonna show you guys the comparison. Okay, so the bottom row is the Flower Beauty. So this is Flower Beauty and then that's Flower Beauty. And then the top ones are the Ofra Cosmetics. So as you guys can see, they're literally the exact same shades and I think you would get like the same effect. I do have to say the Flower Beauties are just a little chalky. They're obviously not as good as the Ofra one, but they are pretty blinding. So if you want to get like the same effect, I mean, I think this is so worth it. And there is also like a lighter regular shade and this is what it looks like. It's just like a light highlight, but they also have a gold one. And I wanted to um, I wanted to compare two other high-end highlighters to this gold. They're not exact dupes, but I just wanna give you like an idea of what kind of shade this gold is in case you do want to buy this palette. Obviously, you're probably interested in all of the highlighters in the palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the flower beauty in the middle of my hand and then i'm also going to swatch the anastasia amrezy highlighter right above it and then i'm also going to do um my newest favorite which is laura geller gilded honey and i am using different fingers and like that so as you guys can see um obviously the one the flower beauty one which is in the middle it has more of a yellow gold but i just wanted to show you guys how similar this is not like a dupe i just wanted to add this so you guys could see what this gold looks like like it's a little bit darker than amrezy but it's very similar to gilded honey so if you're looking to get a nice frosty white highlight a gold highlight and then the two exact shades as the Ofra collab with the Nikki Tutorials, then this palette is the one for you. Okay, so the next dupe that I have for you guys is for one of my all-time 
favorite, favorite highlights, and I know it's also a cult favorite, and it is Becca's Opal. Unfortunately, mine is all broken, but I still use it. I love this shade. I think it's beautiful, and I have something for you guys that not only is it the same shade, but it's even a little bit brighter. Not in tone, but it's just more blinding. This guy right here, this is the Kylie Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Fiji. Now I know this you can't really buy at the drugstore, but Ulta is about to start carrying Kylie Cosmetics and also her highlighters are only like $16, whereas these are, you know, in the higher end range. So this is actually like half the price of this. So if you've been looking for a shade kind of like Opal, get this and also these highlighters are so pigmented that this will last you a lifetime. I'm, I'm not even kidding, a lifetime. Okay, so here is Opal. All right, so the Kylie Cosmetics is on top. So as you guys can see, they're literally the exact same tone. Like look, look at the way the light just reflects on it. This is the exact same tone, except in person, the Kylie Cosmetics one is a lot brighter. So it really just depends you know what kind of look you're going for but like i said you could always go in with a lighter hand i do have to give credit where it's due one of my best friends nat told me fiji is literally opal in a bottle and i was like what and i totally agree with her and now you guys know i have all my highlighters out so i'm putting them back in my highlighter drawer as we go so i could be like productive and start cleaning okay this next one is pretty exciting because the dupe highlighter is really like extra affordable so for the high end, we have this guy right here. This is Ofra Rodeo Drive. Such a beautiful highlight, so nice, so blinding. I love it. And I found a dupe of the shade. So let me go ahead and swatch Rodeo Drive on my hand. This literally Ofra's formula is unbeatable. I mean, if you do have the money and you wanna invest in a blinding highlight, these right here. But if you don't wanna do that, and that's the reason why you're in the video, well, let me tell you, this guy right here is the same shade. This is the Wet n Wild, the Zodiac collection, and this is in the shade Earth. So these you recently came out. I believe this was under $5, and this has a lot of product. I'm gonna head and put that there. Okay. So as you guys can see, they literally reflect the exact same pale gold shade. Um, they're both great formulas. Um, the Wet n Wild is just a little bit chalky, but it's still a great formula. And I just think this is such a good dupe. I know that Rodeo Drive is such a cult favorite, so I feel like if you really wanted to get the same effect, just get this one. I really tried to do um, highlighter dupes for like cult favorites because I know like once something's hyped up, everybody wants it and not everybody can afford it. And you don't even have to if you don't want to. So just remember that the Wet n Wild highlighter in Earth is the same tone and shade as Rodeo Drive. You know what? Why don't we just get Ofra out of the way? Because I do have one more for Ofra. Um, I just love Ofra highlighters and I feel like they're so hyped up, especially like specific shades. And they, they're hyped up for a reason, they're great. So the next one, which again, cold favorite, one of my personal favorites, is this guy right here. This is the Ofra highlighter in the shade Blissful. This is like a warm, this is like the only pinky tone that I really, really love on an everyday basis because it's like a warm pinky tone, almost rosy. And let me swatch it for you guys. So this is what it looks like. And I found a dupe for this and it is one of my all time favorite highlights from the drugstore and it's also a cult favorite, but little did you guys know they were the same shade. And it's this guy right here. This is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter i do think that the mega glow highlighters have a better formula than the zodiac collection again there's still great formulas but i think this is just better so let me go ahead and use another finger and swatch it right on top so as you guys can see they both give like a very pinky tone but not too pink you know it's like a warm pink and they're both very blinding again over formula you can't beat it but this wet and wild formula is also amazing now speaking of pinky highlights for my girls and guys out there that like them frosty and pink like really really pink not that much warm i have a little dupe for you now this is definitely completely different formulas but the tone is the exact same so i figured i would share it with you guys so we have the fenty beauty kilowatt highlighter in lightning dust and fire crystal i really like this highlighter this is the one that's like the duo 
and I'm actually duping the very shiny side and this is fire crystal so this is again a warm pink but it's a little bit frostier a little bit lighter so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that right here so as you guys can see it's just a little bit lighter and this is gonna be so random but I I was looking at all my highlights and I was like oh my god this is very similar and I'm talking about this guy right here this looks like a nail polish but it's a liquid highlight and this is the beauty crop glow milk highlighter and let me show you guys it literally looks like a little nail polish look at this obviously the liquid one which is on top looks a little bit more blinding because it is a liquid highlight but as you guys can see they have the exact same tone when they shine in the light it's like a light pink and then it gets really frosty white so if you were looking to get that same effect and you don't mind having a liquid highlight this is the one for you i feel like the blindness of the actual um highlighters like the shininess is not really picking up as much on you know on the screen but what i'm really trying to show you guys is the base color like the shade and match those for you guys but just remember these are even more blinding in person so the next one i have for you guys is another becca product and this is the gradient glow highlighter this is the one that you can literally just you could pick a color i could definitely i have like a small highlighter brush even like the the jack and hill one you could pick just one color but half the time i just you know put it on like that so when you swirl it all around the shade that you get is like a very warm rose gold kind of shade and i found a dupe for it and it's literally like the same exact like idea it's also like a lot of different highlighters mixed into one and it comes out this exact same shade so i thought that was cool because it's even like the same idea now it's also broken as well so i apologize but it is this guy right here this is the wet and wild boozy brunch um casey holmes talks a lot about this and it, she got me right into it but it is shattered so i'm sorry for this nastiness but as you guys can see can you see it's kind of like a animal print and it has gold brown and pink so it kind of gave it the same effect as the becca one as you guys can see i'm sorry that you can't really notice the difference as much in these highlighters but um I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has kind of like a pinky and gold duochromeness to it. Let me try to put like my flash of like my phone on it. And it's like gold to pink, gold to pink, and they both looked the exact same. All right, so we have one more dupe left, and it is for one of my favorite Tarte highlighters, and this is in the shade Stunner, and it's stunning. This is more of a warm, taupey, this sounds weird, but it's just, it's very blinding. And it's not, like, it's not, like, it's warm, but it's not gold. It's more of like a, like a, I don't know, I don't know, I, I suck. But let me just swatch it for you guys. It is more like a rose gold, but it's not like a yellow gold. But this is what it looks like. Again, very, very blinding. And I found a dupe, which very very affordable same shade just the formula is okay and it is this guy right here this is the elf baked highlighter in the shade moonlight moonlight pearls i know that this was all over youtube a while ago and yes you do have to scrape the top because it is baked but once you scrape it you get the exact same shade as stunner and they're both good obviously the tart one is a little bit better in formula but you get the same effect. You get that like warm, almost rose gold look, but still really blinding and it reflects super white. I think this is a really nice highlight, especially for lighter skin tones, or if you just want a really blinding highlight for like darker skin tones. And lastly, if you are wondering which highlight I am wearing, I'm wearing, ah! I'm wearing um, the Gerard Cosmetics little highlighter. I believe it's called a Starlet palette. And I'm wearing um, these, the two lightest shades right here and I have that all over my face. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a dupe for this, but this is a really nice palette if you're wondering. So yeah guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope that this video was helpful. I I hope that these helped you out to hopefully save some money or if you've been eyeing a highlighter that you really, really want, just remember there's dupes out there and there's also, thankfully, now there is really nice dupes. Like there's beautiful highlighters at the drugstore you just have to make sure to get like the good formulas and that's what i'm here for all these are awesome i think the least good 
one is probably the elf one this one's just a little bit dry but all the other highlighters that i talked about are great formulas and i really hope that you guys like them definitely let me know down below of other dupes that you guys know of so we can all kind of learn from each other or if you have any of these highlighters so anyways guys thank you guys so so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye